But Collins awaits. Bob Bache brings them around as always. James Spencer Curry, a wonderful tournament for you. What was the difference? Well, the difference was I was facing two first serves out there today, and, and uh, Pete was only facing one, and that was, you know, pretty tough for me. Particularly in the tiebreaker, it's, you know, it's, he's going to get some balls back in play, and, and basically I was unable to, to uh, effectively get the ball in the court uh, off of his serve. So that was pretty much a difference, I think. Did you feel that he was fading, that he might even be ill? Oh, he wasn't ill. He was just fatigued. And, I mean, I know I'm in better shape than him, but his game, he doesn't have to be in great shape. You know, he just has to serve well. And I thought if I could get him into a fifth set, maybe he'd cramp up or, or just uh, tap out a little bit. But, you know, he, he served awfully well in the fourth set, and, and I had the one one uh, loose game, and that, that's really all he needs when he's serving well. So, One loose game. Will you think about that for a while? Not too long. <laughs> I'm pretty happy to get to the final. This is not my best service. And uh, sure, uh, disappointed to lose, uh, particularly two tiebreakers, the first two sets. That's, that's pretty discouraging, really. But... Uh, you know, that's grass court tennis. You, you know, you win by the sword, you lose by the sword on this stuff. Congratulations, Jim. You beat Thanks. a champ, Edberg, to get here. Thanks. Where's the champion? The sweet one, yes. Jim Courier says, and he, I just heard you say you're tired. Yeah, I'm a bit worn out, yeah. You know, the first two sets were pretty physically demanding, and it was the hottest day of the tournament, I believe. And, and I just got a little bit uh, down on myself and, and uh, I was getting a bit, it was hot today and I was a bit tired, but you know, I managed to win the right point it, it, that I had to in the fourth set and then served it out. But uh, you know, it's just a long, long, uh, long time dream for me to win this event. And um, you, know, I, I, you know, I'm speechless, you know. I'm, I, never think, I never thought it would happen. You know, I, I, I changed my game when I was 14 to one day win this tournament and uh, from a baseline. From a baseliner to do it, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty overwhelmed. What was the difference between you and your old pal Courier? Um, <clears throat> I felt I, I returned his second serve pretty well. I, you know, he's uh, serving very big. M my game plan was to uh, mix around my serve a lot, out wide to his forehand, and that seemed to work. And, and not really give him a groove on my second serve. Mix it, mix it up because I saw him play Edberg, and he was just, uh, you know, just teeing off in his serve. And so I wanted to mix it up a little bit. But, uh, you know, it was good I won that fourth. It was, I was disappointed. Could you have won in five? Uh, I don't want to think about that right now. But uh, I think hopefully the, the, you know, I would have got my second win. But I was, for some reason, it was a lot of nervous energy, I think. You know, I was physically just, everything was just a bit heavy. And, were you and, ill? We were speculating. No, I was not. No, I wasn't ill. Just uh, ran out of gas there a little bit. But, you know, I, you know, just uh, one of those things where it was just, I've never really been in this situation before, and, and uh, you know, I got a bit fatigued. Well, you're here now. Take a look at the champion, Pete Sampras, a Yankee Doodle Dandy. Dick? All right, bud. Seven years ago, switched to one-handed backhand, thinking that someday maybe he could win Wimbledon. It's happened for Pete.